Hello everyone, this is Fatma from Dictive Tips, and today I'm going to show you how you can seed worlds in Minecraft, the Bedrock Edition. The worlds created in Minecraft appear to be random, but they are actually created through an algorithm. The algorithm is used by the game to generate blocks and biomes and villages, strongholds, etc. The key to a world's layout is in fact the seed used to generate it, and users can provide their own seed value to create worlds. Where these seeds are particularly useful is if you can't find a jungle temple or a desert temple, you can use a seed that can generate a world where these structures are guaranteed to generate nearby. You can find seed values online and every seed value will have a description of what structures it will generate. If you can't find a seed that you want to try out, you can use the one that I'm using for this tutorial right now. The value for it is going to be on your screen. This seed promises three villages close to your spawn point and a deep ravine that goes down to levels 12 to 16. Uh, these are the levels where, you're can, where you can normally find diamonds, so there's no guarantee that you will find diamonds there. You can use a seed in both the, both the creative mode and the survival mode, but I'm going to use this in creative mode so that it's easier to look around. Open Minecraft and click the play button. On the world screen, click create new and then click create new world. On the create new world screen, scroll down and look for the seed field. Enter the seed value here, give your world a custom name, and choose whether or not you want to create it in creative or survival mode. I've already decided that I'm going to do creative, so that's done. Now click the creative button and wait for the world to generate. So we're in creative mode, I'm going to double tap the spacebar to start flying, and here we're going to look at the three villages that we've got. There's this one right here. You can see another one over there in the distance, and here's another one nearby. So that's the three villages accounted for. Now we need to find the deep ravine, and I've kind of already explored this world, so I know where it is. So here we go. This is the deep ravine. You can see it goes all the way down. And if you um, if you've enabled coordinates, you can see what level it is that you're on. I'm going to enable the coordinates right here. Okay. Now there we go. Now we can see what what the coordinates are for our location, and you can see what level that the ravine goes down to. Have fun exploring and playing Minecraft. And I'll see you again later with more tips and tricks for Windows 10.